What's going on guys, it's Gamer here back again with another video. Today we're reviewing episode 101 for Dragon Ball Super. The title for this episode is The Impending Warriors of Justice for Pride Trooper. Shout out to Geekdom 101 by the way for episode 101. Episode 101. But yeah, a lot of stuff happened in this episode. Uh, very well written, I would say. And I I kind of enjoyed it. And I, and I even kind of, I really enjoyed it. This was a good episode in terms of writing and specifically with the character development of uh the two of Khalifa and Kale and it was really good. The episode starts off with Khalifa and Kale kind of just hiding behind a fucking rock because you know last episode Kale kind of just went all fucking berserk throughout the whole goddamn arena. Khalifa's trying to you know remind Kale what happened. She doesn't remember it, so she kind of just blacks out whenever she gets all fucking pissed Broly-esque. Yeah, that's kind of what happened. We get another shot of Goku and Jiren, and Goku is immediately wanting to fight Jiren. He's like, yo, fight me. And then Topo comes out from the fucking uh, black smoke right behind him. And he's like, nah, bitch. And he shoots off a Justice Flash over at Goku and sends him off somewhere else. Actually, towards the general area of where Khalifa and Kale were. And so Top Topo starts talking to Jiren, and he's like, I send five members of the the pride troopers to go finish him off uh we have to retreat and save our stamina and shit you know jiren's just kind of like whatever i don't really care he doesn't he doesn't say anything i like I, he doesn't barely ever talk and i feel like that's the mystery behind his character and that's why everyone really likes him uh we go back to the shot with goku coming out of the ground uh next to khalifa and kale and then Khalifa's is like, are you here to take down Kale when, when she's down, you rotten bastard? And then Goku's like, no, I wasn't doing that at all. I just got blown away from some asshole. And then we get to see the five Pride Trooper members that were sent by Topo from Universe 11. And it's led by the General Casserole. I guess that's what his name is. And they go and start doing poses. Very reminiscent of uh, the Ginyu Force, and I don't know, I, I, I kind of enjoyed that. It's always it's always neat to s see people that are similar to the Ginyu Force, I guess. Even though I didn't really like them too much. <laughs> I would get into their names, but honestly, I I, I would I would butcher the fuck out of them. I don't want to I don't want to butcher names besides maybe Casserole because it's hilarious. But you know, they start doing poses, they do their final pose as a team. Uh, Casserole is just like, yeah, we were told by Topo that you were alone, but I guess we'll go after fucking Kale as well, because she knocked out one of our members. And someone's here at my fucking house right now, I'll be right back. Alright, I apologize for that, guys. Um, <clears throat> some guys uh, are here at my house right now. I, I said this in my last video, but... Uh, we have some guys working on our kitchen. They're putting in like granite countertops and stuff like that, and working on our cabinets um, and our kitchen. Like I said, so uh, if you do hear some noise, I apologize. I can't do anything about it. I might be a little bit quieter as well because I don't feel comfortable recording when people are around, which is why this video comes. Uh, which is why my super reviews always come out super late. But let's get back into where we left where we left off uh, I believe we left off around um, uh, the pride troopers they're going after uh, Goku and then they see that Kale is there and so they starting to they're starting to go after Kale because Kale did uh, eliminate one of their members when she was in her berserker form and so uh, they see Kale it's kind of like just yeah whatever uh, Goku's like uh, wait I'm your opponent right don't go after that uh, don't go after them and then Pride Troopers are like, it's a battle royale, it doesn't make a difference. And then Goku's like, telling, trying to tell Khalifa, like, don't fight, I'll fight them, it's so whatever, it's dangerous. And then Khalifa's arguing with Goku, and then, you know, she's, she's fucking whatever, right? <laughs> Kale hides behind Khalifa, she's like, I don't like him. I thought that was funny for some reason, I don't know why. 
Uh, Cleve was trying to, like, boost up Kale's self-esteem, I guess, by trying to say that she's not weak and doesn't and doesn't need your pity and that she's proud of, proud of her because, you know, uh, you know she's, she's, she's grown. And it's a prodigy, you know, so she's just trying to boost up her self-esteem, I guess, whatever. All right, we continue on. Uh, we see a couple of shots of just Goku smirking and shit. We then we get a scene, or not a scene, a shot of uh, Master Roshi using the lightning flash surprise attack that he used way back in Dragon Ball. If you remember back in Dragon Ball, he used that against uh, Goku, Kid Goku, back in uh, the first Tenkaichi Budokai uh, from the series. I think it was the 21st Tenkaichi Budokai. I, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but he uses that on an enemy from uh, a specific universe. I don't remember if it was like Universe 3 or not. Can't really re recognize him, but he catches him in the Lightning Flash Surprise Attack. And then Tien uh, comes up from uh, right next to him, actually, and then shoots off a Key Blast uh, to knock him out of the arena. And so they have another elimination. Master Roshi has the elim elimination, another one, actually, uh, underneath his belt. Everyone's starting to regroup, and even Frieza is around there with uh, Vegeta. And then Frieza actually has another elimination of his own uh, around the general area where they were at. The, the two Zenos are wondering where Goku are. They see him. They see that he's uh, under attack right now. And then he's actually Goku's actually in a bear hole with one of the Pride Trooper members. And supposedly he can control... Um, uh, his his own body weight, and so he makes himself much more significantly heavier than he normally is. And uh, while while he's in this bear hold with this pride trooper member, this little short uh, purple guy is doing a, a tornado spin attack and is drilling into Goku's like stomach area or whatever. And then we get another shot of Khalifa fighting another um, uh, what is green looking dude. I don't I don't want to butcher names like I said. And then uh, he's trying to tell Khalifa, like, you should focus on the surroundings and less on me. Uh, Khalifa looks up in the air, and then there are a bunch of, a whole bunch of, uh, I guess, purple blue spheres in the air. Very reminiscent to uh, Piccolo's Hell Zone grenade technique. Uh, because not only do they just kind of stick there in the air, but they also go after Khalifa the whole time. Uh, Kale is trying to rush over towards Khalifa and trying to you know, help her out, but one of the Pride Trooper members, uh, the the girl, uh, don't don't want to butcher names, like I said, I apologize, um, uh, she actually traps Kale into, I guess, a sphere that is from, another, traps her under an, an, another dimension. Uh, Androids 17 and 18, they actually get behind uh, Castrol and kind of just punch him in the fucking face, or kick him in the face, rather. And he's like, unbelievable, how could I not sense your energy? And this is also another reminiscent of back in Z, when they were surprised that they couldn't sense any energy from the androids, because they don't have any, so there's, they can't sense energy. Uh, they can't sense the androids' energies. And so, uh, he then creates uh, psionic blades, uh, shout out to Geekton for that. He creates psionic blades on his hands and starts going after uh, Seventeen, and then uh, he shoots off a big uh, key blast over at 17. And, of course, 17 can just create a barrier to completely protect himself. Uh, it was called the Justice Bomber, I believe. That's what the technique was. Uh, he shoots off the Justice Bomber towards 17. 17 creates a barrier, and he's like, this is a stupid attack. And I thought, I thought that was hilarious, again, for some stupid reason. Uh, 18 actually uh, shoot, starts shooting off key blasts at the guy who has his who put he's in a bear hole with Goku I apologize um, he gets off of Goku and so they start uh, the two pride tree members uh, the guy who can control his weight and the little purple dude uh, they start working against uh, or working together against uh, Goku and 18 and then uh, 18 is actually being dug on the ground with the dude because he went into like I guess a little ground roll thing, like a tire, I don't know. Uh, 18 picks him up with one hand and then rolls him like a bowling ball towards the edge of the arena. Barely uh, ex uh, ba barely escapes the fact that he wasn't going to be able to fall off. But of course, the ground underneath him uh, collapses because of how heavy he is. And he falls off the arena. 
And so immediately uh, they all start to regroup because they're panicking. All this shit happened. Uh, Casserole regroups with everybody. And so they then decide to trap uh, Khalifa and Kale inside a dome uh, with uh, the other dimensioned uh, technique that one of the uh, uh, members can use. And Goku's actually trying to actually get in there with uh, his instantaneous movement, but it, it doesn't work. He can't sense energy because they're technically in an alternate dimension. Khalifa's getting fucking bombed. She is not taking attacks very well. She's trying to protect Kale as to best her ability, and then uh, she starts crying uh, whilst in her little ball sphere, and then she actually breaks out. It almost seemed like she was about to go into her berserk form, but wait, she's not in her berserk form. Sure, she's a little bit more buffed up, but she's not in her berserk form. She's actually in, I guess, uh, her kind of controlled state of the berserk form, which, honestly, I think it's just Super Saiyan, and, you know, she can choose whether or not to go in berserk or not. But right now, I feel like she she has more control of her power, and so she can just go into a state that is basically Super Saiyan, but kind of almost like an amped up version of it. Not like grade 2 or grade 3 of Super Saiyan. Just a more amped up version of Super Saiyan grade 1, and that's kind of it. it. Basically, it would be similar to probably like grade 2 Super Saiyan, but she looks more like the, uh, a Super Saiyan grade 1, but... I don't know. Uh, they start shooting key, uh, key uh, blasts at each other. They're in a key struggle. And then uh, Kale is like, fuck you. Uh, goes berserk. Uh, uh, knocks off three of the uh, of the four Pride Trooper members that are still there. And then uh, the final one, uh, the one who actually created the dome, is like, ha, before you eliminated me, I put myself in a and his boss, so I wouldn't get eliminated. 18's like, fuck you, and then picks her up and then throws her off the arena. I laughed so fucking hard. I thought that was fucking hilarious. I don't know why, it's just that... <laughs> I was like, wow, that's such a fuck you technique, isn't it, right? And 18 said, fuck you, and then knocked her off the arena by picking her up into sphere. That was awesome. Uh, Kale uh, passes out. Uh, because she used a lot of her energy. Um, uh, Khalifa picks her up, and they're starting to like, kind of leave the general area where they're at. Um, Go Goku kind of just uh, lets them go, I guess, because uh, you know they help one another, so it's kind of just whatever. Uh, they'll meet again, and they'll fight again some other time during the tournament of power. It's whatever. And then um, we get a shot of... Uh, universe 3, or Universe 2, I don't remember what, which universe she's from, but Brienne, uh, someone who we did see in a filler episode before the Tournament of Power, she's gazing at Goku, and that's the final scene of the episode. And that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the end of the episode, and that's also the end of the video. And I want to say it again, I apologize for kind of just getting up and leaving in the middle of, of the review because I do have people working over at my house and it's just kind of like I kind of tried to end the video as quickly as possible because I didn't want <laughs> I didn't want you guys to have to hear a whole bunch of like construction work going on as I was speaking and talking so I hope you guys don't mind that whatsoever if you do then I don't, I don't know what to tell you but that's the end of the video. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys want to see more videos just like this, please consider hitting that subscribe button, of course. And if you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace out.